Today, we're going to introduce a couple of our friends and show you their camper. So for everything camper related and campground reviews, subscribe to our channel. I'm Kevin. And I'm Amy. And we're Camping, Camping Companions. Companions. This is our friends, Bruce and Cheryl, and they're going to show you around their camper. All right, this is our Thor Four Winds 22E. It's a 2016 Class C. It's just perfect size for the two of us. We really enjoy it. It's small enough that you can get in and out of some parking areas, and uh, I hate driving big vehicles, so it's perfect for us. All right, so on our our uh, Thor Four Winds, we've got. Fairly sizable um, awning, not sure exactly what size it is, I think about 14 feet or so. Um, this is our compartment for propane, and uh, it's got the tank down there, and uh, it's about half full right now, and actually a little more than half full. I was really impressed how long propane lasts. Uh, what else we got here? Um, let me show you the lights, it's kind of cool at night. I don't, this one here, you can see that it turned on, it's... It, I don't use it much. I like that one there. That one's uh, string lights above, you know, below the uh, awning. During the day, you're not going to see it too well. If this was nighttime, it would be impressive. Over here, this is a very convenient. This is very convenient here. Got some outdoor outlets. Comes in handy. A lot of different things. Over here. got a fairly decent sized storage compartment. It's only one storage compartment in the entire RV, but there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> you can fit quite a bit of things in here, cargo bay. Okay, so back here, way in the back here, you got your city water connection. Look up for city water. Fuel tank, gray and black tanks down here. I'm not gonna open that up. Um, here we got our hot water tank. Um, I don't know if you need to open that up, but it's your typical hot water tank uh, stuff uh, This is where the, um, the electric cord is. And, and it's, it's a pretty decent size uh, compartment, actually. So not only do I put my... Uh, I keep the surge protector. <laughs> Here, adapters, uh, some other adapters, and then, of course, I believe it's a 25 foot cord. Plenty long enough. I've never had an issue with that yet. So, so yeah, it's kind of neat. You can stir all that stuff in there. And uh, it goes just fine. Okay, so now we're going to go inside and show you inside the camper. So, come on in. So, here we go. You know, Bruce most of the time drives the deck. I really haven't driven it. <laughs> <laughs> and I sit here. So um, up here we have a cover here actually. This covers, you know, when we set up, it covers up the whole front part so we have privacy when we get to our site. And up here we have an extra bed basically. We have a sleeping bag up here for, for grandkids or sometimes Bruce will sleep up here if he snores too much. <laughs> So we have storage up here, which we put our tablecloths and our towels and things like that up here. And of course the table. And over here we have some other storage. We have we do have a TV and the TV hookups are coming in here, but we don't really watch TV when we're out camping. We like to be camping. And we have our sink and we do have a stove top but we don't have an oven, which, you know, we usually don't cook a lot. Um, we use the microwave. We freeze a lot of food before we go, and then we put it in the microwave and heat it up because we don't like to spend a whole lot of time cooking um, while we're camping. We just like to eat real quick and go. Okay, another thing I've put in here is a couple of command strips to hang hot pads and, of course, the cutting board. And also, um, I've always collected magnets for wherever we go, so I started that here. We have, um, you know, 
storage under here for pots and pans and cups and things like that and our silverware and all that. And here, and here we have our refrigerator and our freezer and under here is the garbage and let's see this this table comes down for our bed also so it does actually sleep technically six people so two here two here and then two in our bed here i think i forgot to mention up here is that it's got this curtain so that both sides come so you have some privacy and since this whole camper which is is nice but it's all like browns and you know diff, you know basically the same color um and i don't work anymore i'm retired and i really don't wear my scarves at work anymore so i decided to dress up the camper a little bit so i put my scarves here put one back here and a couple in the back i'll show you in a minute okay so what's really nice too first of all when we're doing the dishes we can put this up and have the dishes right there so the dry. But also what's nice is that we have this handle here so when we come out of the camper we don't fall. And there's also one on the outside so that we can just swing right outside as well. Also up here we have the air conditioner um, for the nights that are very warm and humid and we have the antenna for if we ever watch TV. And also over here we put command strips to hang the keys. So we have car keys, the RV keys, and lock keys. I would like to mention something about the antenna. This antenna, you don't have to worry about lowering it down when you leave. It doesn't go up or down. It stays right where it is. And so you don't have to worry because a lot of RVs, yeah, people forget to bring them down and uh, that's not a good thing. So this one, you don't have to worry about that. So over here, it's our, our bed that we normally sleep in. And again, there's a curtain. You can see where the curtain goes around and um, for, for privacy when we have grandkids um, with us. And I also dressed up the windows. Uh, and they also have shades that come down, which is nice for obviously privacy. Over here, we have our closet basically. And um, we hang up all of our jackets and clothes and in the bottom we put our shoes uh, and so it's got a nice room and a nice mirror another drawer for our towels and linens and over here so if you can see this here this is actually our heater uh, when it gets cold at night which is sometimes it's pretty cold and the adjustment is actually right here by our bed so that when we get cold at night um, we can turn it on right there. So the other piece of that is since the storage actually from the outside we showed you earlier is actually under the bed. So um, it, it's a little bit hard to get up on the bed. So I put this little stool here and it really makes it easy then to get up in the bed. You got these oh, four yeah. lights here and then underneath if you can see them there's two other ones and then you just they turn on with a push button. So that's usually I'll crawl in, turn one on, and when we're getting ready for bed, we'll just uh, have everything else off. And then when we're in bed, we just push the button and lights out. <laughs> and also, I don't know if you can see this, there's also speakers. So when you, you have the radio on, you can have the radio on and the speakers play back here. Um, and also, I think if you're watching TV, I think. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And then of course we have um, the storage, which we normally keep our clothes in those in those cabinets there. So, so then I'll show you the bathroom, um, which is very convenient. Um, in the middle of the night, if you have to go, you can just instead of being in a tent and having to go to the campground, <laughs> this is um, our shower. Um, and this actually, I, I really like this that I found. I found this, I um, can't remember where I found it. Anyways, it's a laundry basket and it just folds right up so you can move it wherever. When you're taking a shower, we actually just put it outside. And most of the time we just leave it in here and out of the way so that um, we don't, you know, because we don't have a whole lot of room in here, but you use what room you have for everything that you need. So, 
A couple other things. We put a few hooks up for, for, for towels. Um, and I'll probably, I would really like to find a couple, even like little pictures for in here for the walls. Cause again, it's all neutral colors. And this one, this door here, this drawer, we pick, it's a pretty good sized drawer. We have a lot of miscellaneous stuff in there and flashlight, binoculars, front spray, uh, um, first aid kit, a few other things. So, I mean, it's a nice, uh, nice thing. And underneath this cushion here, if you take this cushion off and then there's a board, that's where your um, storage or your um, uh, fresh water tank. And I hooked up a, uh, an assembly so that when I winterize it, it's easy. I just turn a couple of valves, stick a hose in the uh, bottle of um, antifreeze, turn on the pump and open up all the faucets and that's how I winterize. And up underneath this other cushion here, that's where the water pump is, if you ever have to get to it. All right, underneath um, this one step here, little latch, open it up. That's where your battery, your house battery is. There's room for two batteries there. We only have one. We don't do a lot of boondocking, but uh, it, we've had some nights where we didn't have any electric. So um, this one battery, I, I just put this in this year and it works really great. So we also, right inside the door, right here, this is where uh, you can turn all the lights on and put the awning out. And um, what else is there? Oh, the awning light, mostly awning and lights. Oh, and the battery uh, disconnect. Okay. All right, yeah. so this is the control panel. It's pretty typical. You know, you got your your lights for, that's how much LP I have. Battery, um, that's fresh water. The black water tank, that, that's never accurate. You know that, <laughs> I'm sure most of you. Fresh water should be, oh, it should be on one, and it is. Uh, your, your water pump. Um, and your, the, the, uh, water heater, either LP or electric, um, you know, it's pretty typical. Got a light here above the sink, which is nice. Oh, electrical outlets. There's one here. There's one under, under the, uh, table over here. There's one in the bathroom. And there's... One up here, which is where the uh, DVD player and, uh, and the TV gets plugged in, and, and I believe the microwave too. I, I don't think there's a separate one for the microwave. I think everything plugged into that one. I might be wrong. There might be another one for the microwave. But um, I would really wouldn't mind having a few more outlets here and there, you know, in, in more convenient spots. I mean, this one is not the most convenient. We did use this one for the toaster. We would put this up, put the toaster on there. But the smoke detector is right up there. And every time we'd use the toaster, <laughs> the thing would go off. So we moved the toaster over to the table. And got an extension cord. And got an extension cord, so. <laughs> but we make do with it. It's, it's nice for the two of us, and we have a lot of fun. I don't know how many of you know about this guy. It's the uh, Garmin 770. It's made for RVs. It's got switchable uh, you can switch it between an RV or a car, and you program the size of your RV, the weight, and everything about it, the height, which is very important, because you don't want to be driving along, going under a bridge, and finding out that you're not going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for uh, coming by and uh, yeah. checking out our Yeah, our thanks camper. for uh, looking it over, and um, for, uh, hope it gives you some ideas for the next time you're looking for a camper. Yeah.